Aren't they lovely? Here. Happy Mother's Day. Yo, what's up? I am Chef Darrell Smith, and today is all about the moms because it's Mother's Day. And so I'm going to share a recipe with you inspired by this particular restaurant that just so happens to have Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I remember my grandma would bring take-home containers, AKA doggy bags, and we'll fill these bad boys up with biscuits and have biscuits all week. We're going to make our rendition of that Cheddar Bay Biscuit, and then we're gonna follow that up with some shrimp scampi grits. So now let's get to it. We're gonna start by making some shrimp scampi to put on top of some grits. Now I grew up in West Philly, but my grandmother is from South Carolina. And so we grew up eating a lot of grits. My mom, till this day, whenever I go home, makes me grits with sausage and all of these things at least once a week. And then for the rest of the six days, I'm in charge of cooking because she figures if I'm on TV cooking, I can at least cook for her. So I wanna start by melting down a little bit of butter. All I wanna do is add a little bit of red onion. This is gonna give us some sweetness. It's gonna create a base for our sauce. And whenever I'm cooking down onions and garlic together, I always wanna start with the onion because those take a little longer to cook and it's very easy to burn your garlic. Oh, that smells so good. There we go. I'm gonna get that going. And next, we're gonna blister up some tomatoes. I like this method because it's beautiful. These start to pop, 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 pop. And then you get that flavor, you get that juice. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna add a little bit of chili flake in here. I'm gonna add my capers, and these are gonna pop a little bit, and they'll go really well with the flavors that we're creating in our pan already. I wanna just add a little white wine, about a quarter cup, and all I wanna do is just rub all on the bottom of that pan because that's where the flavor lies. Now, we wanna add our shrimps. Shrimps. And all I'm gonna do is place these down with the tail on so they don't shrink up too much. This ain't no popcorn shrimp. We are making the big boys. Once you start to see these shrimps turn pink, that is when we wanna flip them. All right, so, oh, look how pretty they are. I think that is good. And before I'm done, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of zest from this lemon. Butter and lemon. Whenever you got butter and lemon with any type of seafood, it just makes it that much better. Slice that, go around it with this, boom. And I'm gonna turn this heat off because we don't need to cook this anymore. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of butter and what that's gonna do is create a sauce for us. And this is gonna be our scampi. It's your sexy self. All right, I'm gonna go to my herb wall. We're gonna get a little bit of parsley to put on top of our scampi. What's up, baby? <laughs> oh, I miss you so much. I go to sleep dreaming about you. Come here, babies. I'm just gonna go down. And all I'm gonna do is just hit that make it look pretty. And before I go, I'm gonna taste one of these shrimps and that scampi sauce at the bottom. Mm. That good. I remember the first meal I ever cooked for my mom. Once we got a little older, we stopped taking my mom to this particular restaurant. And I remember one of the first meals I made for my mom the whole family was in the kitchen, and then it was cool to just watch my mom sit back and relax and enjoy her family cooking. My mom has been one of the hardest working people I've ever seen. And so it was, it was a great opportunity for me to cook for her and to show her how much we appreciate her. And so right now we have our scampi that is chilling on the side. We're gonna let that chill and we're gonna get down to this nitty gritty right here, which is the star of the show the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I'm gonna start with my wet ingredients since all of my dry ingredients are already pretty much put together. We got some buttermilk and we got some butter. 
the beautiful thing about this is if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk, you can use canned milk. And whenever I'm making biscuits, I don't know, buttermilk is just the go-to because it reminds me of the texture of a biscuit. We've got our buttermilk and we got our butter. Next, we got some flour. We got a little bit of sugar. We got a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder. And then we got a little bit of baking powder, which is gonna help our biscuits rise. We're just gonna whisk this together. And then finally, we're gonna add in our cheddar cheese. Let's mix that up. You can't make cheddar bay biscuits without cheddar cheese. And now it's time to add our wet ingredients. That buttermilk and that butter. I'm gonna put that in there and then we're just gonna fold that until we get a biscuit dough. My grandma was the one who loved these biscuits. I mean, and everybody liked biscuits because grandma liked biscuits. She brought to-go containers for the family. And so whenever you saw a black grandma in church with that extra big pocketbook, you already knew it was about to go down. The beautiful thing about now is that it feels so great to be able to make these biscuits for my grandma so that she doesn't have to bring that extra big pocketbook. These right here are meant to be imperfect. They like grandma biscuits, made with love, made with a little bit of care. So that is good. I'm just gonna roll it, bring it all into the center. It goes nothing. There you go. That's for grandma Estelle. That's for grandma Doris. This right here is for grandma Lubu. This one right here is for my Grammy. This one right here is for my mom. So our biscuits are ready to go into the oven. 15 minutes, 350 degrees. And personally, I like to put things on the top of the oven because it serves as like a little dome. All the heat rises to the top and then it cooks it better because it doesn't have anywhere else to go except into your food. So we're going to let those cook in the oven. And now, the fun part. I've been waiting for these biscuits for so long. <laughs> mm, look how cute those are. We take these out. And aren't they lovely? Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. All right. Grandma, you don't need a container anymore. I got you. And now I'm going to try one. Where the biggest one at? This one, right here. I want you to see this. Wow. Look at that. Look how flaky it is. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> oh, biscuits. That's good. Look at that, Grandma. Don't that look like this restaurant? You proud of me? I'm gonna just hold on to this while I cook. That's how I cook at home. All right, we are going to make some grits now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we keep stirring it. And as soon as you see it start to thicken up, as soon as it gets a little thick, I'm gonna pour in that cheese. We got a little bit of sharp cheese. A uh, little bit of Gouda. I'm just gonna go around, make sure I ain't got no lumps in my grits. All right, that's enough. I'll come back to you later. Now that our grits are nice and bubbly, nice and thick, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. Stir that in and add a little bit of cream. I remember my first year playing in the NFL. I mean, granted, I only played like a year and a half in the NFL. I wasn't freaking Ray Lewis or Tom Brady. However, I did make enough money to take my mom to a fancy restaurant. And I took her to the best steakhouse in Philly. And my mom goes to a steakhouse and literally fills up on salad. And I'm looking at my mom like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> we, we came to a steakhouse and you got your third helping of salad and no steak. <laughs> but I don't know, like it, it was still just one of those moments where I'm sitting across from my mom, we're both dressed up and I'm proud 
man, I'm, I'm proud because I was able to take care of my mom in that moment the way she's taken care of me for my entire life. And, and I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's not about the food. It's about being proud in that moment to be able to take care of somebody who loves you and, and show them in return how much you love them back. Look how cute that is, man. Didn't that look like grandma's house? It's not cute. And I'm just going to pour all of them grits. Oh, I love it. Then, we got this scampi. And all I want to do is just pour all of that right into the middle of my grits. And we will garnish with some parsley, just to finish it off. And first, let's just put our biscuits in their little cute basket. Okay, so we got some grits. There we go, baby. I'm gonna get a little bit of toppings. The shrimp, we have a natural handle. So I like to eat my grit. Mm -hmm. And use the handle to eat my shrimp. Mm -mm. Look at that. Happy Mother's Day.